KKHT wants you to meet the classiest guys in real estate. This is Tim O'Neill, the icon of insurance. I'm Chris Kelso, the Meister of Mortgage. And I am Rob Cook, the godfather of real estate. And together we are... The Real Real Estate Estate Rat Rat Pack. Much like us, real estate in the greater Houston area is hot. So whether you're buying, selling, owning, or insuring real estate in the greater Houston area, you need to check us out as we are the preeminent source for everything you need to know. And now, they're here to take your calls and answer your questions live. Call now, 1-800-808-5548. The Real Estate Rat Pack. Good morning, Houston. Man, there's like, how many people do we have back there in the green room? Uh, I, we have I, I think I lost count around th- you know, 20 yeah. or 30 people out yeah, there. You know, I mean, the problem is that we've gotten to be so big that people just show up and have a good time. We, we party early in the morning. That's the way we roll. Hey, why not? I mean, you know? I mean, we we yeah. could probably skip the show altogether. Just yeah, yeah exactly. Groupies. Just go directly to the after party. But we're not going to. <laughs> we are not going to skip No, it. professionals have yes. a job to do, the and the sh- show must go on. The show must. May I quote you that? On is that is true. Yes. So, you can quote me on that. So anyway, we've got uh, some uh, Greenco Builder people in here today. We have a great show lined up. We're going to start off with Greenco Builders, a great, great company here in town that builds some really nice properties. And we actually have two guests right here with us right now, along with my great Willow Bend crew, by the yes, way. Indeed. I've got Kerry Cox is here. That is correct. And, and, and Dana and Nichols we, Leo. See, I, yes. I, 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 uh, <laughs> and, 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 and the joke we always have is there ain't no trio without a Leo. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> trio without a Leo. So, yes. And we've got Tammy who will be dialing in right here as well. She's actually waiting. She's probably listening to us right now. But probably do don't. She's probably listening listen to how we don't sound. Mix Carrie into like, that. Do I really That's want to right, call yeah. in? Right, huh? Yeah, she's going to be like, okay, I'm going to see how these guys sound first. And if I want to, I might have to hang up here before these guys get to me. <laughs> So, so anyway, in the house, we've got uh, Kara Davis with Greenco Builders. Yep. Yay. And, of course, then there's Rick Davis. Say hello, both of you. Hey, how's yeah, everybody that's doing? What, that's your cuter talk. Yes. Hello, <laughs> Houston. <laughs> hey. Thanks for having us, yeah. gentlemen. Thanks for having us. Well, we're pretty excited about it because we, we love the, the builder community, and I actually have joined GHPA to be more involved with the builder community, and I'm a former custom home builder back in the 80s. You know, we used to chisel out of rocks and things like that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we, we've always had to enjoy that great relationship with builders. And so talk about Greenco and, and you know, it's genesis of Greenco, how it started and where you are and – as I said earlier, thanks for having us, gentlemen. Absolutely. Uh, gentlemen, my gosh. You <laughs> don't know us, us at too all. Much credit. Yeah. <laughs> thanks for setting your alarm at 6 a.m. to get here, by the way. <laughs> hey, pres- that's my regular time, my regular yeah. time, gentlemen, my regular time. <laughs> but once again, thanks for having us. Um, green Co. Builders, we build the most durable, energy efficient green homes anywhere in this area. Um, with, as long as we've been building homes here in this area since 2008, our founder, Mr. George Kopecki, has had over 30 years of building experience in and around greater Houston and Texas. We try to provide for our customers the most durable, energy efficient homes, save them not only money before purchase, but also during the lifetime that they're staying in their homes. So what do you say? And, 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 you know, one of the things that I guess individuals don't realize, George Kopecki was, has been around for a long time I, in I've the industry. I actually met George back in, probably back in the 80s. So Absolutely. He came he from the old... I think it was American Standard Days, then moved on in, or, or um, American Homes, I think it was, and Royce, and, and now Green Co. And so he's been around for a long time, been building in Houston for a very long time. So, so talk about the difference between uh, the Green Co. Homes and may, may perhaps your competitors' homes. Or the way Rob used to build with rocks. <laughs> yes. <laughs> They're still standing. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. My personal experience has always been in green building. My passion has always been being able to provide the finest quality green homes for any of my clients. I've been building homes and helping families find green properties for more than 10 years now. I've always seen the advantage, especially with first time buyers, buyers who they're purchasing their first property to always talk to them about what's behind the walls. And at Green Code, that's what we specialize in. Our HVAC ventilation systems are second to none. We put in standard pest control systems, especially in this area, things like ants, crickets, things will, of that nature. Will it keep my bro- brother-in-law out? <laughs> <laughs> we have um, <laughs> alarm systems and security devices that'll help you with that. <laughs> 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 
But uh, but there's a lot of standards of green out there, and of course there's a national accepted uh, ratings and things like that. So kind of explain what green means to the you know, average person out there who walks in and goes, well, it's green. What what's different? Okay, prime example. Are we all familiar with water filtration systems that you might find in some luxury or custom homes where they build in the water filtration, takes out some of the minerals and some of the things that Reverse you might Reverse osmosis, get. baby. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> well, what Greenco is providing for a price point below 250000 and in a single story, we can get it done for below 190000 We're providing first-time buyers with those same water filtration systems that they would find in a more expensive custom home or a luxury property. And of course, you talk about energy efficiency. Of course, the first thing I always think about is HVAC. Absolutely. So, and so, what what type of uh, units are you using, and, and sear ratings and things of that nature? Uh, great thing is that um, at Greenco, we are one of only maybe ten or eleven one hundred percent Energy Star home builders in Greater Houston. And I challenge any of your listeners to go to the Energy Star website, and if you take a look, they'll show you those ten or eleven exclusive builders that test. 100% of their homes every single time. And I always try to illustrate for my personal buyers the importance of that. Most builders, and we won't name any names, they can get away with what they call batch testing. They usually test maybe 10% of their largest, most expensive homes. And once those 10% pass, they pretty much rubber stamp the other 90%. So I always try to make sure my clients have peace of mind of knowing that just because their home may not be a four hundred, five hundred thousand dollar property, that every single home Green Co. builders makes and produces for our clients are tested one hundred percent of the time. See, when I bought my home, they gave me a Brita filter, and so I just used that. <laughs> right. And, and but, I but thought they, that was, it, but I it was included, that was energy though, right? efficient. <laughs> yeah, but, but, but it was included. I was, <laughs> but it was included, correct? We touched on something that you actually uh, piqued my interest here a moment ago. We should, a pest control system in the house. Talk to me because I mean, I'm when I, you know, you're, you're talking about there's an alternative to having a great big truck come by and spray poisonous chemicals all over my house once a quarter. Is there an alternative <laughs> to that? I'd love to hear about it. <laughs> At Green Co., what we, enjoy, what we install for all of our clients is what they call a tube in perimeter wall system. And what it allows you to do is, is you don't necessarily have to be on after the initial consultation. You can set an appointment with the home pro pest control professionals. They're able to stop by. There's a nice area on the exterior of your home where he, the gentleman can plug in, where he actually injects the pest control agents into the wall from the perimeter. And it takes care of any ants, crickets, any issues behind the walls. You never have to have a pest control professional inside your home. And it's not like maybe back in the 80s where you would have the um, the press control professional come in and spray behind no, your just, stove big, and behind the big refrigerator. boots. You know. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a great thing. Times have changed. That's really some very forward-looking design. I find that fascinating. Good for you. I mean, really. I yeah, love versus it. the traditional either boots, as Rob said, or uh, you know, spraying at dangerous chemicals, you were saying, all over your house, all over the place, yeah. and then having to make nope. sure the kids are out of the house for the next 10 hours so it all... Yeah. Well, yeah, that's pretty evasive. I mean, of course, yeah. they always want to spray in your cabinets, and and uh, you know, you kind of think, well, now I got to wash everything that was in the cabinets because they've got chemicals all over. Uh, it, so. And you were talking about HVAC. <clears throat> that's also something I'm particularly interested in. What something I advocate for here in the Houston climate is to have central inline dehumidifiers installed along with a AC, because there are those days where it's just not hot or cold enough to bring the air conditioner on, but it's very wet in this or in rainy season and it's just so humid inside the house and you either have to have little freestanding dehumidifiers groaning away or it's so simple that when the, when the builder will install a, a, a dehumidifier on a humidistat that will can maintain a constant humidity do you guys do that well what we can guarantee and everything that you're describing is outstanding but what we try to do at Greenco is that we can guarantee that when you set the thermostat at whatever your desired temperature is, every room of your house will be within three degrees of where you set it. So if we set our, me personally, I'm a 70 degree guy. 70 degrees, every single room will be within 73 degrees at the high end, 67 at the low end. But most importantly, this is something that I'm really, really proud of with Greenco. And I want to ask you gentlemen, have you guys ever met a home builder that's willing to guarantee heating and cooling expenses in writing 
before close? Because that's something that we're able to provide at Green Coat for all of our buyers. No. Wow. Awesome. That is really neat, actually. You know, let's talk a little bit about that because obviously, now where are you, where are you at right now? What subdivision are you in? Oh, thanks for asking. I'm in Baytown. I'm in Bay River Colony. So if anyone wants to go to our website, which is greencobuilds.com, if you click on the link that says Bay River Colony, there's a really cool guy who has a really <laughs> cool headshot there. And that happens to be myself. Um, I'm there just about every day, contractually. I can't work seven days a week, but I pitch a tent on my off days and I'm in the backyard. So if you come on a Tuesday and Wednesday, chances are I'll be there. Uh, I love Baytown. Um, I've always felt since the time I've been working in Baytown that Baytown is one of the hidden gems of Harris County. Uh, I've worked with a lot of great families there, a lot of great veterans. If we have any veterans that are listening, please consider Baytown because I think we have a great product at a great value for everyone. And the great product comes through Willow Bend Mortgage. That is correct. We get financed through Willow Bend as well. <laughs> Got to get that plug in there. All the time. I would absolutely yeah, we, we agree. Actually, and, and, of course, uh, you underwrote a class I taught this week, and you know, I brought up to the class at VAs. And, again, the whole class were going, I didn't know. Most people didn't know. And that they is correct. didn't know because everyone thinks the non-allowables can't be paid or have to be paid by the seller, and that's not right. the case at all. Right. And we go so through that every time. And, and uh, if, if the statistic still is that only 30% of the vets use their entitlements, it's, it's less than that. Yeah. Oh, wow. I've been saying 30%. So Technically, I guess the national numbers they say are 30%, but it depends on which areas you're in. Yeah. Wow. Yep. Well, so. gosh, now I'll use that 12%. Really get people motivated. <laughs> <laughs> of course, we've got people like Brittany K. Martinez out there that's out there pushing that really hard for the vets. And things that like. is that's true. That's interesting to know about that. Right, you, you, you were reached out to Brittany, didn't you? Oh, I had no choice. Um, of course, I am an avid listener to the show. And I had listened to the show that she had appeared with you guys. And I've always thought that like she would be the perfect resource as far as not only exchanging information, but partnering right. as far as trying to help veterans not only find that perfect loan product, but also find the perfect property for them as well. Now we also have another, we have a lot of different Green Co. people in the house right here. Where are you at, Kara? Um, I'm over at Edgewater by the Bay. It's in Baycliffe in Galveston County. And, and talk a little bit about that, that area and that community and what all's going on in over there. Oh, awesome. Yes, we're building a lot of houses this year out there. Uh, we're located about five minutes from the Kima Boardwalk, right, uh, right near the water, right there on Bayshore Drive. And, you know, when you say five minutes, I could technically walk, actually, from Kima if I wanted to right down the road. I mean, it'd be a little long walk, don't get me wrong. And I'd Well, do you could exercise. use a little walk there. I could use the exercise, right. With t- <laughs> I mean, Tim's walking like 10 miles a day, so he could definitely do it. But, you know, I mean, all the activity going on there, obviously, you've got what's going on with Kima. You've got all the great stuff going down in Clear Lake in general and League City. Talk a little bit about all that, you know. Why, I mean, people are moving down there because of that, that, that lifestyle that's going on. Absolutely. Yeah, it's a boating community, fishing community. Uh, we're only maybe 15 minutes from Galveston on the island. Um, it's really, really great, great location. And the tax rate's amazing. I mean, school districts, Dickinson ISD, which is really up and coming. So it, it's amazing. It's a, it's a wonderful little community back there. And, you, you know, one of the things, obviously, you've got, you got two communities down there. You're in Edgewater over there. Um I, I guess anything, you know, when it comes down to obviously what Rick has been talking about, anything different, I mean, one of the things people always ask about is building along the coast. And you guys build, obviously, a very strong home. You build a very uh, energy-efficient home. But building on the coast, also, you build a home that's going to sit there and withstand a hurricane that comes through or anything like that. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Our homes are fully equipped with um, the top, you know, top-of-the-line um you got to have roof ties yeah, and, and all that absolutely. Right there to withstand yeah. you know post tension slab and we have we have an incredible build and it's it's going to be the the same um I'm pretty much right Rick for all of our communities it's, it's the same build so oh, we yeah, just have a different much. floor plans um that's the only thing is we have a 40 foot product and we also have a 50 foot product line so we have two different uh, product lines out there in one community it's awesome well, we're definitely going to be getting into a little bit more of the floor plans. We're going we to be getting into show, a you know? little bit more of the of the areas that you build in. We're going to still talk with Margarita. Actually, Tammy did hang up. I think she got scared a little bit right there. But hopefully she'll call, call back, back in right me. now. Yeah, exactly. Call back in. Call back to Anyway, stay tuned. We're going to pay for this show. We'll be right back.
Are you looking to finance a new home or refinance your existing home? Look no further. Call Chris Kelso at Willow Bend Mortgage. Willow Bend Mortgage is a mortgage banker in the greater Houston area. In business since 1993, Willow Bend Mortgage offers a great array of products from FHA, VA, and USDA loans to conventional and jumbo loans, all with great rates and incredible service from Chris and his staff. Call Chris Kelso at Willow Bend Mortgage today, 713-256-9138, or online at chriskelso.com. Again, that's 713-256-9138 or online at chriskelso.com. Available 24 hours a day. Great rates, exceptional service. That's Willow Bend Mortgage. Down Under Pools can help make your backyard a focal point for luxury outdoor living. Imagine coming home from a hard day's work and enjoying the evening in a spa-like environment with pool, water features, and lighting integrated seamlessly into your home and landscaping design. Down Under's design team has a seasoned eye for color, scale, proportion, and detail. Even more important is Down Under's commitment to the highest quality construction practices to achieve the highest standards of hydraulic and structural integrity. Down Under is one of the most creative and trusted pool and landscape builders in Houston because of their award-winning design and construction and an a rating with the Better Business Bureau. Visit downunderpools.com to see examples of what could be in your backyard. That's D-O-W-N-U-N-D-A pools.com. Down Under, pools for the mind, body, and soul. Berkshire Hathaway Home Services Anderson Properties, the fastest growing real estate company in Houston. Over 400 trained professional realtors here to serve your needs in 21 locations in Houston and across the state. Whether you're buying, selling, or leasing, Berkshire Hathaway Home Services Anderson Properties is the smart choice. Check us out at andersonprops.com today. Find out why so many choose Berkshire Hathaway Home Services Anderson Properties for all of their real estate needs. You know us, we know real estate. I don't like it. I love it, love it, love it. Uh oh. So good it hurts. I don't want it. I gotta, gotta have it. Uh oh. When I can't find the words, I just go. I don't like it. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> Good music now, Rob, choices. that is not new. You know I, that I, is. that is. We've been doing those I bumpers might, now for I, a little while. I might be talking all the time when it comes on. The thing is, Josh put it really loud today, which uh, I really appreciate that. We, yeah, big shout out to our producer here. Yeah, we're, DJ we're, Jiggity Josh. Oh, yeah. right <laughs> <laughs> rocking it in the aisles. Yep, rocking it in the aisles right there. He so. smiled. We are coming. We are still here with Green Co. By the way, we well, actually had they brought had, a cast of thousands. I mean, they brought way. they brought a cast of thousands, which is good. Uh, you know, and, and someone who snuck in here, she's like, I really don't want to speak on the air that much. But Margarita with Katie Trails actually walked in here a little and, while and ago. We were warned. We have to mention Katie Trails. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. And they're all they're all looking. By the way, and and, and Rick's middle name is Ham. By the way, so just want to let everybody know that. So I, I'm just not shy with a mic put in front of him. So we love that even better. <laughs> Margarita, say hello to everybody. Hello, everybody. My <laughs> name is Margarita. <laughs> okay. So now, now, where are you building? And let us know a little bit. Well, first of all, you are building out in Katy. Katy Trails. Katy okay. Trails. And, you know, one of the things going on out there, I mean, you know, now we have 99 that is open all the way to 59. We have a lot of development going on out there. We have a lot of really neat stuff. What are you seeing out there in Katy Trails? Talk a little bit about the area and what's going on. Well, Katy Trails, uh, Katy, uh, it is an area that is growing right now, and everybody wants to purchase over there because they look not only for the location, the schools district. We have one of the best. Yep. ISD, um, Katy, I mean, Katy uh, Schools District. Right. And you also have two, uh, two schools that are being built right across the street across from where you're at right there. Home. And so, you know, those you've got brand new Katy schools going in over there. You have a lot of development. You've got, obviously, Ventana Lakes is right in front. They've sold a lot. You're, you're right in front of them. It's all the new area of Katy that's growing, and it's affordable. I mean, people sit sometimes look at Katy and they go, oh, gosh, it's too expensive. But no, if they go, they can get a quality, high-quality product at a very good price. 
Yes, and we, we also, I would like to mention that we have uh, 10 uh, different floor plans, five okay. single-story, two, uh, five uh, two-story homes. Uh, prices, they're really, really great prices, you know, and also we we pretty much pay all the closing costs. And, and that is true. You provide uh, you provide two percent towards closing costs plus owner's title policy. They use us. We kick in an additional amount right there. So I mean, you can get into a home, literally speaking, with just a down payment, and if you use down payment assistance, sometimes even zero. Well, let's talk. <laughs> about, let's talk about the price ranges. I yeah. mean, what where do they start? Where do, what? We start from one ninety four five hundred. Oh wow! Uh, and two forty six five hundred, which is the biggest house, uh, twenty six sixty seven square feet. Yeah. For, for Katie, that's very affordable. It's very affordable. I mean, let me tell you, I was in Margarita's model home the other day, and we we're going to do a series of events out there in regards to training and some credit credit training, et cetera. But let me tell you, you walk into that home, and the quality of the build and what you get, the layout, the floor plan, and you have one of the most incredible media rooms, by the way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I sat up there in that media room all the time. like, this is where I want to be. But it was really neat. It was a, It was a really neat media room with a little bitty kitchenette off the side right there. I mean, it's just that your your designs are functional, and they are really meant for the lifestyle and what you're seeing out there. And aside from the fact that you also speak Spanish, where you know they call Katie Katie Suela, by the way, for all those oh, yeah. who don't know that. Katie so, Suela. Yeah, Katie Suela, because the Venezuelans are, are yeah, yeah, absolutely, and Colombian. That is correct, but but um, but you know, and you, so, so you see a lot of so Latin they, Americans. They feel comfortable, uh, even that they speak English. They feel comfortable, you know, speak you know speak Spanish. Right. And uh, so, so here I am, you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's important if you don't speak Spanish out in Katy, uh, you you don't speak Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> May I quote you on that one? <laughs> you can always quote me on that one. Yes, absolutely. But no, it's one of the things also because Spanish speaking is very big. And, and let me tell you, and and, and I w- obviously we're working on a lot of files out there. And it's, it's really neat because, again, the Latin American community has continued to build out there. And it's one of the few places you can buy a new home in Katy for that affordable price. Yeah, well, that really is an affordable price because, you know, when we talk about Katy, we always think about Cinco Ranch and all those houses that, you know, the entry level is probably 300 and then go to the million type of range. That's what most people in their heads when they think about Katy. Absolutely. So when you hear about 194, that's pretty phenomenal. Hey, Rick, I know that there's a few of you guys in here, but you have a lot of communities. Can you talk about the other communities that haven't been mentioned yet for Green Cove? Oh, my goodness, yes. Um, we build all over greater Harris County, Fort Bend County, Galveston County, of course. Um, we have great communities. Let's say you're thinking about that spring area, north um, north of 45, Greens Point Beltway area. We have Arbor Trails there. We also have a really beautiful community called Sugar Pine Pavilion. That is also over there off of 45 near 1960, that spring area. Um, if you if you have a inkling that you just want to live a little bit more southern Harris County going towards Galveston County, of course, um, as Kara spoke to us, we have Edgewater. But then we also have um, Hidden Lakes is a community we have in that area. Uh, we ha- had a community, I think we're just about closed out, but there may still be opportunities at a community called South Ridge Crossing near the Beltway and 288. And is there anyone that I'm forgetting about, um, Margarita? What about your new community? Uh, oh, Avondale. Arbor Trail. Avondale. Oh, Arbor Trails. Avondale. Uh, Avondale is a great product. Um, mm-hmm. if, very, if it's a fir- first-time home buyer product, um, it's a single-family residential property. But it's more, it gives you more of a um, patio home, tile home type of feel, but you don't share any walls with your neighbors, which is outstanding. Um, everything in Avondale, I want to believe, is between 1,400 square feet up to like maybe 1,900 square feet. Great, great, great value there. Um, Very close Lakes of Savannah, you didn't mention them yet. Ah, that's super duper new. I was saving that for <laughs> last, Chris. <laughs> um, after, personally, after I'm finished in Bay River, and we're able to service all of the needs of the residents in Baytown. We will be opening a new community, um, Green Co. We're very, very proud of Lakes of Savannah. That'll be in Rose Sharon, Texas, um, near 288 in that area, Fort Bend County. I want to say between Pearland, Sugarland, that nice little, I call it the honey pot, that right. nice little great area right there. Um, that's the something. The honey pot, huh? Uh, the honey pot. 
Yeah, we got we got a new we got a new term here. We like, uh, we like uh, new terms. Uh, no, no. <laughs> when I say honey pot, I mean the Winnie the Pooh type of. Uh, honey. I got you. <laughs> See, I almost Ding. forgot. In this, in this room, we have a lot of yeah. creative gentlemen here yeah. <laughs> with a lot of varying experiences. Yes. So more so the Winnie Pooh honey type pot. Of, I'm thinking more right. The big pot, you stick the honey in. Yeah. The sticky stuff comes out. That type of thing. But just okay, you just made it worse, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> just stick going it in, for the, the sticky stuff uh, comes out. Okay, yeah. keep going, by the oh, way. Yes. But that's a community that people can look forward to um, grand opening day. I'm going to get the call from the management on Monday. I know that. <laughs> and oh, and I would be remiss. Yeah. Thank you, Margarita. Um, I have previously for the past couple of years developed in a subdivision called Summer Lakes mm -hmm. over off of 59. I want to say 762. That's in Rosenberg. We don't have a functional sales office there, but anyone, any of your listeners can contact me directly. We have three really beautiful properties there that I think not only um, your listeners will see value in, but I mean the, the type of construction and durability that we're building into all of our homes, I believe is second exactly to none. Exactly where that is, because I teach out there all the time, but Jaeger Development out there. Absolutely. Um, I've spent um, the previous 18 months before I was in Baytown in that area, um, beautiful area, really conveniently located for shopping. School district is second to none, and that particular neighborhood feeds to George Ranch. So if any of your listeners are into sports, have children that are really athletically inclined, it's a really great school and their athletic programs are second to none as well. That is pretty cool. You know, and it's, it's really neat because, as you mentioned, though, you do cover Northeast, Southwest. You build a great product. It's affordable in many of the communities in which you're building in. But more importantly is, is um, well, the most important thing is you use Willowbin Mortgage. I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. No, the, 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 the cool thing about it, though, is that your designs are really neat. I mean, when we were down there with Kara, obviously, and we were walking through some of the models, obviously with Margarita with you and then Rick with you. I mean, you walk into your models also. Talk a little bit about this. You don't you don't stack your models with all these upgrades and people sit there and go, I want this, and then have to charge them an extra hundred grand to be able to get into it right there. I mean, that's that's it, obviously they get to go in, they get to see a lot of what they've got in the model, which is standard product that you have. Absolutely, Chris. Um, Green Co., we've always wanted to focus and put a majority of the value for our customers behind the walls. So when anyone who visits any of the communities that I've ever worked in or have a chance to meet with me specifically, I always like to go over energy efficiency and construction standards first. Because at Green Co., uh, as a builder, we base everything on building the most durable, high-performing homes anywhere in this area. With our climate here in greater Houston Harris County, I've always felt that it's most important not only to keep the family comfortable, also make the home as energy efficient, and also be mindful of our environmental footprint. Because at Green Coat Builders, we only use all natural products in the construction of our homes, interior and exterior. Anything that's not all natural, we use recycled materials as well. So for those listeners that you guys have who actually are mindful of their environmental footprint, just know Green Coat Builders is your partner in that thinking, and we dedicate ourselves to making sure we always keep that in the forefront of our business practices. I think that that's right awesome. on right there. Because yep. you, you build a house that's a solid construction, and then three years later you want to put in six-inch crown molding, go ahead. You know, you can do those types of upgrades later, but you can't go back and retrofit your home with proper insulation and proper build and the types of things that they're talking about doing up front and then you can take that home. You can customize it yourself once it's a well-built home. And I, I, I believe in that. That's great. That is awesome. What's the best way to reach out to you and to everybody, by the way, at Green Co. Builders? Well, of course, you can always reach us at our website. It is Green Eco Builds, pronounced Green Co., but spelled Green Eco. So GreenEcoBuilds.com. There you'll see links to all of our different um, neighborhoods that we build in. I can be reached personally by cell phone at 832-928-3963. And I can be reached by email at rdralphdoug at greenecobuilds.com. Um, and then Margarita, how can we reach you? Uh, my Also the same, uh, green, greencobuilder.com and also my personal phone, uh, cell phone number, 832-212-2651. Kara, how about you? Uh, my email is Kara D at greencobuilds.com and cell phone is 713-915-6872. And by the way, it's greencobuilds, G-R-E-E-N-E-C-O, builds.com. Green 
Green Eco. I got it. Builds.com. I'm a slow learner, correct, but I got that. So. You are a little slow sometimes, and you know, especially on a I'm Saturday seasoned. morning. You're seasoned. seasoned, though. That is correct. We want to thank you guys for being on board today. It was so much fun talking about Green Co. and Green Co. Builders. But, you know, we're not we're going not, anywhere. Uh, we're we still got, staying around. We we're still talking real estate. We there. have the green room packed up. But stay tuned. We'll be right back. You got me all wrong, baby. My baby's already got all of my love. So no, no, honey, I'm good. I can have another, but I probably should not. I got somebody at home. And if I stay, I might not leave. Are you looking to finance a new home or refinance your existing home? Look no further. Call Chris Kelso at Willow Bend Mortgage. Willow Bend Mortgage is a mortgage banker in the greater Houston area. In business since 1993, Willow Bend Mortgage offers a great array of products from FHA, VA, and USDA loans to conventional and jumbo loans, all with great rates and incredible service from Chris and his staff. Call Chris Kelso at Willow Bend Mortgage today, 713-256-9138, or online at chriskelso.com. Again, that's 713-256-9138 or online at chriskelso.com. Available 24 hours a day. Great rates, exceptional service. That's Willow Bend Mortgage. Berkshire Hathaway Home Services Anderson Properties, the fastest growing real estate company in Houston. Over 400 trained professional realtors here to serve your needs in 21 locations in Houston and across the state. Whether you're buying, selling, or leasing, Berkshire Hathaway Home Services Anderson Properties is the smart choice. Check us out at andersonprops.com today. Find out why so many choose Berkshire Hathaway Home Services Anderson Properties for all of their real estate needs. You know us, we know real estate. Protect your number one valued asset, your home. Want to know who home builders, commercial property, and real estate professionals call when they have a foundation issue? Perma Peer Foundation Repair of Texas. You can access the same professional grade services the pros choose, all backed by a lifetime transferable warranty and over 15,000 successfully completed projects. Visit permapeer.com. That's permapeer.com to schedule your free evaluation today. We are back. So, you know, we did not give a big shout out to somebody whose birthday is today. Yes, you uh, don't know who it is, do you? I probably do. I don't remember. You don't remember Michelle Posey's birthday today? Oh, yes. I, I think I posted on her Facebook. And Tirsa's birthday was yesterday, by the way. I, I, one of yes, our I, 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 I did reach yes. out to Tirsa and wish her happy birthday. Wanted to make sure they got a big shout out today. And we are back, by the way, with a great time. <laughs> we started out with Green Co. Builds originally, and now we're back with what? You are a three timer? This is my third time. Wow, and officially a three timer. Officially a three timer. Wayne now. Phillips <laughs> with with uh, up there in the Keller Williams of the Woodlands. Welcome. I know you have to get up pretty early in the morning to get down here on time. No, no, it's not bad at all. I'd say forty minutes, right, Dave? My my friend Dave Dickinson at Alamo Title drove me down here again. Yeah, oh, man, I thought here. you rode the bike down here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I know you ride like three and 400 miles at a time, right? Yeah, yeah that's, I could do it, but uh, then I'd have to ride back. That'd be a little yeah. too much. <laughs> <laughs> then you'd have to take a shower and yeah. all that stuff. Anyway, but uh, well, what's going on in the Woodlands? Well, man, I'm just really blessed to be there in uh, the Woodlands market. It is incredible. The, uh, the market is very strong right now, of course, as everybody's probably aware of in the real estate market. It's been kind of a roller coaster ride here over the last year, two years. But uh, right now, I would say it's just an awesome opportunity for both buyers and sellers. Really a better shake for the buyers now, which was a real challenge, you know, a while back when there was no inventory on the market. Especially but, in the <clears> Woodlands, <throat> there was no inventory. Exactly. It was really hard. Great for the sellers. Um, but uh, right now, it's it's a balanced market. Interest rates are low. Get out there is is the time yeah, to do it now. Good time, yeah. I actually had uh, an agent was telling me that it was, he had a client calling me. It was, it was his listing, and he says make it stop. <laughs> that it was like if you ever you seen those where a cow gets in the river and it's full of piranha and there's like a frenzy. Yep. Well, he said that's what realtors were like. There's a new, new listing, and the, and the neighbors were calling up and complaining. They're blocking the driveway. They're yeah. everywhere. <laughs> to make it stop because yep. there was only two. 
probably less than two months supply of homes at that time. Right. Overall, there's like 2.6. We're moved into what I would consider more of a normal market. Correct. Yeah, we we're about 4.6, 4.7 months supply of homes, and uh, we're, so we're balanced. And some areas are doing still very, very well, and some have slowed down. Well, in fact, I just looked at it actually on the way down here, just kind of analyzed it. You know, the upper price ranges are really kind of soft. You yep. know, 750 and above right now, there's about a year's worth of inventory. You, you hit it right on the head. It's at 700 and yep. up. It's uh, the 10 months of inventory. Yep. And then 500 to 750, kind of the, you know, is a, still strong, I would say, a balanced market, about yeah. six months of inventory. And then under under 500, still a strong seller's market. Um, there are some homes sitting on the market, and uh, and that's because those homes are overpriced. So there are some people still with a rearview mirror, you know, yeah. pricing their home like it would have sold in the buying frenzy a year and a half ago. And, but and, and, and how do you suggest that? By I mean, because yeah. that's that's a valid point. We have that conversation that if it's still not priced right, it's going to sit. And as you that's mentioned, right. unfortunately, you can't look. You know, you can't look at what happened a year ago. You have to look at what's happening today. Correct. How do you explain that to everybody? Well, and the numbers show that. It bears right. out. I mean, I always explain that to my clients. I mean, it, you know, you put it on the market. You have nice pictures. If it's priced right, you're going to get showings. If it's, you know, going a week, two weeks with hardly any showings, hello, it's overpriced. Yeah, right. If it's been on the market 10 days, you have no showings, it's overpriced. Right. Yeah. Or if you have 10 showings and no offers, you're overpriced. I'm in a multiple <laughs> offer situation too right now with a client. It's really challenging. So that still happens too. If it's priced right, look out. I mean, well, a lot of that market that was moving was a lot of reloads for the oil companies. And of course, they've been, you know, Chevron just announced, uh, I think, a, a cut off of laid off a bunch of people. And yep. so we're getting and a Darko. And a Darko, thing. same thing. And so they're, they're pulling back. They're going to come back. Yep. Because uh, yep. someone's predicting at the end of the year, one of the economists that uh, went to a function this week predicted $60. Uh, oil. We're ready for that. So we're ready it, for it'll, that. It'll we're happen. right around what, $37 right now, I think. So. $37, yeah. 38 it's right come back a little bit. Yeah. So it's bound, yeah, it's rebounded a little bit. But I remember when it went under like $6 a barrel in Ouch. the 80s. Like, so I know what it can do. But again, we talk about this all the time that oil's not our number one industry anymore. Nope. Well, and we got two brand new hospitals yeah. under construction. Our number one industry that, now. That's <laughs> going to be the game changer in the woodlands. That's going to pick up where the oil and gas uh, industry has sort of softened the market. So, and they're coming online next year, 2017. What, what, what uh, hospital systems are those? Uh, Memorial, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Methodist and uh, Texas Children's. Yep, so, they're building yeah. another satellite yeah. office out there. So that, yeah. it's just it's amazing that uh, you see them going up all over the city. Yeah, but I'll tell you it, again, it's a buyer's buyer's opportunity right now because there are some builders and uh, you know resale and new construction, especially on the east side of 45, which you know they've got some inventory. They've been sitting there a little little bit now, and um, for folks, I, I think you know. We look back two years from now at the market and at the way it is today, and people will wish they would have bought today because right now you can get a lot of home for your money, and money is cheap. So, yeah. it, it is. I mean, it's back at, you know, from a financial perspective, it's back at one of the all time lows again. What were you, you, never what were you quoting there. yesterday on a 30 year fix? Believe it or not, I locked somebody in yesterday at a 3.625 on a jumbo loan, no points or On anything. a 30 I mean, year? That's a jumbo on a 30. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, crazy how low rates are right now and um we keep you know, obviously well go qualified up. Buyers. they don't yeah that is correct and, you know in every case is different but you, you know I, I was actually driving on 99 it's mm -hmm. amazing how much it's opened up some new developments and access oh, yeah. and you're seeing a lot of new stuff going in yeah. you mentioned the east of 45 it's really nice right now and the accessibility is there as correct. where it wasn't necessarily as accessible prior to that's right and i you know coming from the new home sales business uh i'm always interested in in the new developments and it's been a hard thing to keep up with there's so much growth and a lot of it is spurred be up from that grand parkway and there's just new neighborhoods popping up all over because now the accessibility you jump on there and you can be in katy and shoot 25 minutes right which that was an hour before. Of course, <laughs> it'll cost you fourteen dollars, but that's okay. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I ran the numbers. I, I drove from Katy to uh, Kingwood yesterday. Uh, I obviously live out there in Cinco Ranch, so I, I pulled all the way around, and it was nine dollars and seventy three cents one, one way. way. That is correct. So you know, uh, on one side of things, you got to pay for it, but I will tell you, it beat me taking two hours going through traffic at seven thirty. Something worth, worth every it. penny. That's right. right. So it's one of those love hate relationships for Chris. Yeah, yes. we, we, he loves talking about toll roads. Yes, yeah. I love I love I love talking about how we got totally gypped on the the uh, Beltway Eight. But I also understand at the same time it is a requirement we have because Houston, 
let's face it, Houston right now is a very large city. It's getting larger. We're bringing more yeah. people in all the time. We're the most diversified city in the nation. We've got one of the most diversified county in Fort Bend County. And, you know, our forecasted growth, you know, we're going to outgrow even the roads we have today. So we have to continue to make sure that we're developing and adding yeah. new, new infrastructure. And, uh, of course, we had H-Town Day this week. We had a lot of experts come in and some people come in and talk about high-speed rail and things like that. They are going to go through with that. Uh, from Dallas? From Dallas. To, it's it's already privately funded. And, of course, it's going to be like 2022 before it's operational. But that's going to bring more people into the area. I mean, it's just it's, – um, we're just growing, you know, exponentially. Uh, yep. I, I don't know where you can put them. Because well, that's I mean, okay by us. We're in the real estate business. <laughs> <laughs> Wayne's like, I can be reached anytime, anywhere, any place. Uh, I'm trying to figure out how we go into the private road business. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. Because that's what needs to be built right now. And yep. Then, you know, and then go as fast as you want on, on, on the Rat Pack Road. I would agree right mm -hmm. there, yeah. If there you can go 100 miles an hour, you go 100 miles an hour. <laughs> You want to sleep in your car? You can sleep in your car. <laughs> Absolutely. It's the responsible thing. <laughs> so, anyway. so, inside joke for all of us. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we'll explain that one later. Yes. Anyway, so uh, what kind of products are still being purchased out there? Is people still looking for the big homes? Are they? Are anyone going in there and saying, you know, I, I want to downsize? Well, you know, the what's the average age of the buyers in Houston, um, it's going up all the time, right? The gentrification, is that the right word? Or the, uh, you know, the bo the baby boomers. So you do see quite a bit of empty nesters and such that are, you know, not needing the big two story scaling down, wanting a, a one story home. Um, but there's also, like you say, just with the population growth, job growth, there's also a lot of young new families in. So I don't know, it's tough to say. I would say across all um, types of uh, housing, yeah. there's Because one of the things, remember we had Rob Hahn on, uh, he talked about, he said the baby boomers are, are not baby boomers, but millennials, millennials and Xers are actually waiting longer to get married, waiting longer to have their families, and therefore they're probably going to have less children. And of course, we have a lot of big houses out there, four, five, six bedrooms. Right. And uh, they're not going to be looking for that product. So I, I just was kind of curious that when you get into the younger buyer, are they still looking for that you know, a lot of rooms. Well, or like in the woodlands, that that's kind of the demographic is the family. Yeah. So the, I think even the big homes do pretty well. So and that's what I was going to say. You know, where I think Rob Hahn missed it though. Uh, you know, everything. You know, we always talk about this all the time. Real estate is regional. Rob, right? that's his opinion. Not yes, that is correct. <laughs> and so, so one of the things that happens is Houston is a very multicultural society. Your Latin Americans, they're buying bigger homes. You know, I mean, that's just in general. Your Europeans come in town. They're buying yeah. bigger homes because they're so used to being condensed. So, you know, you look at the the microeconomics of Houston, yeah. big homes still sell. And the reason why it, is because you can still get bigger bang for the buck. You've got larger families. Your Latin Americans tend to bring in more people. They have more children. I'm just using this as an example. I mean, look mm -hmm. at the woodlands. We call woodlands little Mexico. Right. You know, oh, yeah. so, so that that's one of the things that happens. So while the millennials are growing and they, they have that mentality to buy something more within their range and more within their their style of living today, again, the the we are so diverse in regards to yeah, how people some of the new time. floor plans. I was out teaching uh, last week, and one of the new floor plans uh, for one of the builders, they had the like a, a little apartment, on, and these are one story houses, but they had a little separate apartment, you know, kitchenette and oh, dining yes. area, and, and, and the multi generational, multi generational thing. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I think I think we're gonna start seeing more of that because yeah. as other cultures come in, they they have a sense to be you know like us, we want to get out of the house and. Mom, Dad, stay. You know, stay where you are. <laughs> we're we're happy with the distance between. But a lot of cultures, they love to have their families all together under one roof. And I'm saying this is, could be a trend towards multi generational you know, homes and things like that. So, but, huh? yeah, no, but but you're still staying where you're at, Rob. I'm not I, I'm not building anything at my house for you yet. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Christmas card list. <laughs> 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 So Wayne, you know, uh, talk a little bit about personal side by things. You still riding the way you are. You're still, you know, a lot of good stuff going on personal wise. Man, I again, I'm blessed. Uh, my my lovely wife Kathy, my kids, just really involved in my community and and enjoy. It's very rewarding working in real estate, mm -hmm. and my business is growing. I'm I've got an assistant help me out. Uh, looking forward to a great year in 2016 and beyond. You know, and I, and I see you out there all the time. Some great activities. Obviously, all your branding that you're doing around. Everything right. new uh, on, on your branding. How'd that come about and everything? Yeah, graphic designer helped me kind of with my vision. And uh, I think that's really important to, to get a presence. And, uh, you know, people see that. And it's all about that's how you grow your business is being having being uh, people finding you by seeing the same images. And, um, you yeah, know, I'm a company. 
So right. I, I, I'm a business. You have to, I'm not just uh, an individual now. I'm, I'm going to be growing a team and, and hiring buyer's assistants. And and uh, that's what it takes is, is branding. How can we reach you, by the way? Best way is uh, my website. I would encourage you to check that out. It's waynephillipsproperties.com. Or you can call me also, 713-805-3861. That is Wayne Phillips with Wayne Phillips Properties. A great individual. If you're up there in the woodlands and you're seeking somebody really good to speak with, go out and find a home or anything associated with real estate. Or even to go ride a bicycle with, by the way. Yes. That's your man right there. there. Yeah. <laughs> we are coming up against a break. No. Last one. Wow. So stay tuned. Oh, really? How did that happen? Right back. Does it matter who does your real estate inspections? You bet it does. You want someone knowledgeable and experienced. Someone you can rely on and trust. You want A.B. Bowles Home Inspections. Owned by Ashley Bowles, A.B. Bowles Home Inspections makes client satisfaction a priority. You'll get detailed, easy-to-read reports. Plus, they'll take the time to explain the report to you before and after the inspection. If you're investing in real estate for your family or as a business, call A.B. Bowles Home Inspections at 832-306-3723. That's 832-306-3723. 3723. Down Under Pools can help make your backyard a focal point for luxury outdoor living. Imagine coming home from a hard day's work and enjoying the evening in a spa-like environment with pool, water features, and lighting integrated seamlessly into your home and landscaping design. Down Under's design team has a seasoned eye for color, scale, proportion, and detail. Even more important is Down Under's commitment to the highest quality construction practices to achieve the highest standards of hydraulic and structural integrity. Down Under is one of the most creative and trusted pool and landscape builders in Houston because of their award-winning design and construction and an a rating with the Better Business Bureau. Visit DownUnderPools.com to see examples of what could be in your backyard. That's D-O-W-N-U-N-D-A pools.com. Down Under. Pools for the mind, body, and soul. Protect your number one valued asset, your home. Want to know who home builders, commercial property, and real estate professionals call when they have a foundation issue? Perma Peer Foundation Repair of Texas. You can access the same professional grade services the pros choose, all backed by a lifetime transferable warranty and over 15,000 successfully completed projects. Visit permapeer.com. That's permapeer.com to schedule your free evaluation today. Hey, I want to do a big shout out, by the way, uh, Jody Manfred and her husband, Josh. Uh, Josh got transferred back into normal care right now. Oh, awesome. So he's out of, uh, you know, he's, he's in recovery right now in recovery care. And she actually got to go home in the pa- first time today in the past two weeks to go visit her home and, and check everything out over there. So big shout out. Continued prayers, by the way. Absolutely. Uh, but uh, some great news coming out in the real estate industry as far as... Uh, uh, Josh getting uh, better, and obviously Jody, uh, you know, very happy. It's, and a, it's, prayers. it's a good uh, thing to grab. Maybe get those tests that you see on television where they go, go do the scans and things like that. Because this man was yep. thirty nine years old, had a stroke. So yes, it, it kind of makes you think. You know, just never know when, where, how, or it's going to happen. But uh, a big shout out to to Jody and Josh and her whole family, by the way. So that's really good news. <laughs> it is good news. You know, we have other good news. We have other great news. We have other great news. Yes, we, we have Tiffany Barkowski. Yes. In the house. You pronounced it correct. And, I, and I by did. the way, who, who invited her, by the way? Can you say that last name? I, the original I, way of Cindy saying it? Cindy Mocha. <laughs> Mucha Mocha. Mucha From Mocha. Old Republic Home Protection. In the house here with us today. Yep. When you need protection, call her. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, home protection. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Gotcha. Or you need protection. Yes. 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 That Just type. Anyway, so. Having good stuff right there. Tiffany, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. That little banter going on here. We just get on to the subject matter. Let's let's talk a little bit about uh, always been in real estate? Uh, Since 1999, yes. And had a life prior to that? And then you decided, you know what? I don't want life anymore. (laughs) I I just want to get right into real estate. I want to go right into real estate because I want to be able to work, you know, half days, you know, seven to seven. (laughs) Of course, of course. (laughs) 
half day, reason. seven to seven. Seven to seven, that's right. That's a, that's a half day, isn't it? Yep. Isn't that 12 hours? Yep. So anyway, well, talk a little bit about your business and how it formed. And I know you've been with some other companies prior to that. Right. Uh, I went out and uh, started Sky Real Estate in 2012, the end of 2012. And um, I was uh, off of Grant Road waiting for our new office to be built in Cyprus. And we moved in the new office uh, in October of this and year. you're saying you're already up to about 34 agents. 34 agents. They're and awesome she agents. Not, she's not even out recruiting. They just show up at her door like, <laughs> I guess, with, with their little bags. And everything. We want to like, work for they're, you. We want to work for you and stuff like they're that. They're amazing. They're amazing. I have them. They're all over the city, not just Cyprus. Um, yeah, you, you were know. saying you had people out in like uh, Richmond, Rosenberg area. Right, and, right. And uh, what, what are the areas? Spring, Tomball, um, Magnolia, and of course Cyprus. So everywhere like, we know what's amazing <laughs> what you know speaking of cyprus though what is going on over there 99 if you drive between katie and cyprus right now you got three major things that are going on over there number one you've got the new fedex facility that's being built right off of 99 mm-hmm. number two you got the new facility being built by chevron texaco which is their new uh one of it's not their new tower but it's a brand new development they're putting they're in not gonna right have there. any people in it but there's gonna be a new facility yeah right? it's, it's, <laughs> well, it's really nice they're actually putting a lot of stuff out there and then you also have the old Goodman Manufacturing, which is now called something else. You're talking about the air, uh, the air conditioning. Yeah. Goodman, I think. Uh, well, Industries. Well, Goodman it used to be, yeah. but now they're called Danique or something like that. Right, right. And, uh, and they're going to have about 5,000 employees right there, yeah. uh, you know, right off of 290. So it's amazing that growth on that website, west side. And it's amazing what's going on, obviously, over in the Cypress area where, you know, traffic continues to be heavily congested. But uh, oh, the building man. continues to be be really strong. <laughs> true, true. But the 99 really helps. I jump on that either direction. Um, you know, Katie, 15 minutes. The Woodlands, 18. So it, it yeah, makes it, it a lot it, easier. Yeah, there's a major development. You've got Bridgelands. You've got Town Lake. You've got mm-hmm. a bunch of great uh, projects going on out there. They're still, mm-hmm. you know, blowing and going. Yep. Exactly. So what made you what made you want to start your own company, by the way? Well, you know, I've been with some pretty um, um, bigger companies, and I um, I took a lot of things that I liked about the brokerages I have been with, and um, and took away some things I did not. And uh, I don't like people telling me what to do. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, really, you just tell me what pro- to do. I'm out of here. That's yeah, probably let's, let's the get her. Why. Let's get her husband on the phone and see how that how that works. I'll <laughs> tell you the same thing. <laughs> Yeah, we have a little sh- part of the show where we dial the, oh, di- dial the spouse, yeah. right? Yeah, the dial the spouse segment, <laughs> dial right? Sp- yeah. That would be kind of fun. That would be really good. So she is saying she doesn't like to be told what to do. <laughs> and he'll probably say, you have no idea. Yeah. Right, right, right. <laughs> so, so talk about the market out there. I mean, have you seen it soften or is it still about the same? Or? Well, you know, it did for a little while at the beginning of the year. Um, I think now I'm seeing a big change after Easter. You know, Easter was early this year, so we had spring break, Easter, um, it seems like as soon as all that was over, it was boom. You know, now it's it's rocking and rolling again. So we are. Well, like Wayne, are you seeing like the higher ends, you know, sticking on the market a lot longer than, than last year? Um, you know, they are. Um, I, I got lucky with the one here um, recently that uh, was about 32 days so in the luxury. But um, it's, uh, they definitely stay on longer than the 300 and under for sure. Yeah, what's the profile of the typical buyer out in that area? You know, it, it's a mixture. It is a lot of uh, families, uh, kind of like Wayne was saying earlier. Um, the, there are some that are downsizing. I've had a few people that have, uh, their kids have gone to college and decided they, they weren't using their whole upstairs, so they want to I always to tell downsize. parents, once your kids get out of the house, go get a one-bedroom one. condo and then tell them if they want to come stay, they can go stay at the you know the local right. uh, Ramada Inn. They don't want to do yard work anymore <laughs> or anything like that, so condos. So that's... It's a big, it's a good mixture. Yeah, is there any in particular industry that seems to be dominant in the areas or just all over the page? It's, it's kind of all around, I think. Um, just the, it, people are kind of going out further um, to, you know, Waller, Hockley, you know, as the busier it gets, it seems like people are going a little bit further out every time. Um, you know, there's not enough land around to buy, but uh, it's, it's still a great, well, that, a great market. Yeah, you know, I usually think Hockley was way out in the country. Now it's kind of, Ended up almost like it's close in now. Yeah. You figure yeah. if you get, uh, I, I used to think Mishki Road mm. was the end of the earth. Right. Right. <laughs> it's like, right. Like and now, now you got like, everything there. Yeah, everything's right there and stuff yep. like that. So just watching it uh, grow is just, you know, just, except if 290 is the only thing probably holding There's a Mose on the corner now. 
Yeah. There's a Moe's. It's right by my office. <laughs> <laughs> so we got the Moe's t- and the Bucky's right there. Next yes, <laughs> right there on either side of each other. So Right. So yeah. just kind of like Wayne was saying earlier that uh, people ask me all the time, well, what has the oil and gas, is it really affected? You know, and I said, well, you know, I think what um, has slowed down with that, the medical has picked up because, you know, just like the Woodlands, we have the new medical facilities building right there. Um, on 290, the big Methodist and everything that's opening up. So I think that's helping us a lot as well. Yeah, and oil and gas actually technically from an employment perspective represents like number five or six on our list right now in Houston. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, we say this all the time. You you still have medical, you still have have retail, you still have services, you've got distribution, uh, distribution, uh, you've got technology, and then you've got uh, the Port port of Houston, right, which is continuing to grow beyond belief. It's getting bigger and bigger. We're in some things we're number one in tonnage. Right, but uh, overall, we're probably only we're going to be second, uh, second to Long Beach. Long Beach, I think, is still number one. Long Beach is going to be because we're getting with, everything from yeah. the Pacific Rim, and so yeah. that that's it. We're, we probably we will never catch up with them. But right. when you start talking about a city that's fifty miles inland, has a number two port, yes, that's pretty impressive. Oh yeah, yep. No, it's it's really neat. And, you know, and, and all the stuff that goes on. Obviously, you know, we we talk about you know in Houston that west side, and I usually use the west side as being. You know, really right north of, of Cyprus, all the way down, all the way into the Richmond area. You know, all that, you mentioned that West Push. I mean, you know, Hockley's there now. I mean, you know, you look at in Katy, I mean, uh, you've got, um, uh, we talked about this just the other day, uh, right off of the West Park Tollway now. It's in, I forgot the name of the I city don't know, now. It looks like you just, I just lost the exact goal. It like thing of my, of my thought right there. <laughs> ah! Baby I'm fish breath. Yeah. <laughs> 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 what was it? Baby monkey. <laughs> yeah. That's a Harry so, Met Sally reset there for you. It's yeah. Exactly right there. Yeah, but no, all the all the cities that used to be on the outskirts are all now on the inside right now. So yeah. it, it's it's really neat to be able to see all that growth. Do, and uh, do we have a time frame for the for two ninety? Uh, completion that, that what they're working on right now yeah 26 oh, years 26 years <laughs> yeah well you know I've, 26 I, and a half I've, every time they ever get it finished mm-hmm. by the time yeah. they get it finished it's again once again obsolete right and that's always been, but th- this current program is going on of course they're going to do a toll road off Hempstead and stuff there to help relieve some of that pressure off of there but the great thing about that new construction and I, and I, I really have to hand it to them is the great thing about that new construction is you used to have at least a foot between the car to your right and the car to your left, and now you've got no yes. space between yeah. the car on your right and the car on your left. Wall. I mean, who <laughs> it, thought it, of that? It, it, <laughs> yeah, I, was, I was actually riding my motorcycle down 290 the other day, and of course, an 18 wheeler kind of swerve over uh, my bike. Yeah, oh, it's, it's, it, that is the craziest. I have never mm-hmm. seen no space between cars that they don't give you there. I mean, you had to fly yeah. with the uh, princes. Precision yeah. of the Blue Angels. Yes, that is true. Yeah, it is something else right there. So. Well, it's it's like it'll it'll go away and we'll be happy when it gets completed. But it does it does seem to be uh, always uh, two ninety has always been an issue because right. it's never been right. big. I remember you used to want to go down to two lanes uh, right around Jersey Village back years ago, and it, it was just unbelievable. You just at a dead stop. Well, how can we reach you, by the way? You can reach me at uh, skyrealestatepros.com. And That's you, S-K- S-K-Y. Y. Uh-huh. Real Estate Pros, P-R-O-S, dot com. And the phone number is 281-376-0009. Say that one more time. It's 281-376-0009. I know people were running for their pins, but you were too <laughs> fast. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. We had to slow you down right there. Well, you know. We are coming up against the end of this show, but before we do so, I do want to give a big remembrance out there to a really good friend of ours yeah, who yeah. Uh, passed away earlier this week. Liam Hell was tragically killed in a, in a freak accident, and yes. so uh, we, a dear, dear friend and a great friend to the real estate community, and he will be sorely missed. A great uh, individual, funny, funny, uh, bigger than life. Yeah, he was absolutely bigger than life, a lot of fun. He did everything, obviously, with his pirate uh, out yes. at the, uh, the so I guess we got to do a, a, a big arg shout out. Army uh, hearty. Nobody did pirate like uh, like Liam. Did, no so. one did pirate like Liam. But, you know, today's, today's a quote that I like to put out there, and it's actually for those who are with us and those who have actually left us as well. There are two amazing places that you can be. The nicest place to be is in someone's thoughts, which Liam continues to be right now. The safest place to be is in someone's prayers. And we have a lot of people who do need prayers out there as well who are going through tough times, who are in the hospital, who are trying to get well, and everything else out there. So uh, we definitely want to make sure we keep that and everybody in our hearts and prayers. 
So I want to thank everybody that came on today. That is correct. We want to thank all of our great guests. Until next time, we are out. This is Tim O'Neill. You've been listening to the Real Estate Rat Pack. The Real Estate Rat Pack is ready to answer your toughest questions. So tune in to the really big show every Saturday at 9 a.m. right here on 100.7 The Word, KKHT.